Greetings, I'm Daniel Kelly, coming to you from the digital studio at Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies. In focus today, MLB All-Star Game 2018. I'm joined by Jason Kubita, Senior Coordinator of Facility Operations at Major League Baseball. Thanks for being here, Jason. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, no problem. Uh, what is the main focus of your role with Facility Operations at Major League Baseball? We work in the Commissioner's Office to try to set um, best practices and standards for all 30 of our clubs. So essentially we act in a client services role whereas our clubs uh, may be interested in carrying out an initiative or doing something that we've asked them to carry out and they want to know how it works in other places or uh, what they can do in their city um, to maximize their fan experience or their security experience or whatever it may be. So we try to act as that liaison between each of the 30 clubs to say, we know this has worked well, or we've done this well at one of our jewel events, and we recommend you do it as well. Oh, that's great. So you mentioned client services, so that kind of ties into what's happening today with the uh, coming up for the 2018 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. Um, Georgetown Sin program is actually working with you guys on a partnership. And so can you provide a bit of insight into the greening initiative? Absolutely. We take uh, sustainability and, and greening very seriously in the commissioner's office. It's something that we know is very important to our game. Uh, we require good weather and uh, green grass and clean soil and wooden bats and all of these things that we require from the environment. We think it's you know, prudent to, to take that interest um, you know, on our end as well. So uh, we try to carry out what we think are the best environmental practices at our jewel events and then be able to pass those along to our club. So, in this instance, we'll carry out a green team, and that green team will traverse the aisles at Nationals Park and uh, ask folks, folks for their recycling material, uh, mostly aluminum, plastic, things like that. And, and it's not so much of what we generate or what we can take from the fans, but it's about what we can teach them about our initiatives to say, hey, the Nationals and Major League Baseball take this very seriously, and you should too, and we hope that you'll take these practices home with you. Oh, okay, I like that a lot. Um, I know you mentioned in the past that some records were broken when it came to the amount, the tonnage of um, what you were able to collect during the event. Yeah, yeah. In San Diego, uh, I think we collected over a ton, and in Miami, we collected uh, more than a ton. We actually had a, a food digester set up in Miami, and um, you know, like I said, these are the kind of pilot programs where we can then go back to our clubs and say, hey, we used this vendor and this product at this All Star All Star game. And we know that it works very well if you want to try it out. Well, we're pretty excited about trying to beat the record. Um, are there any alternative opportunities for students to engage with the MLB during the events surrounding the 2018 All-Star Game? Yeah, we consider it All-Star Week because there's a lot of different activities that are happening around the city. Uh, we have a 5K race on Saturday morning that we're going to ask the, the students to be a part of. Uh, they'll have an opportunity to come out and, and volunteer and uh, essentially be a part of this color run as a member of the green team. And uh, the color run is actually a very green event. They take great strides to make sure that everything they use is cleaned up and that none of it gets into the stormwater system. Um, beyond that, we are going to have a, a legacy project at uh, Boys and Girls Club, Richard England Clubhouse. And essentially it's an opportunity to rehabilitate um, and you know, put a fresh face on this Boys and Girls Club, something to give back to the community. When we come to a host city uh, for the All-Star Game, we are the beneficiary of a lot of services from the city and from the team, and uh, we want to do our part to give back to that. So we'd like to have, um, we have quite a few legacy projects this year that we'll leave with the community whenever we leave after the game. All right, great, great. Uh, next question is, what are some of the opportunities in sustainability and greening that will be available to students in the future through your MLB programs? It's been a growing practice for a long time in sports. Um, I've been in this industry operating and developing uh, sports stadiums since 2005, and it becomes bigger and bigger every year. Uh, my colleagues and I were in Atlanta a few weeks ago for the Green Sports Alliance Conference, and it's something that, uh, again, has grown exponentially, and there are hundreds of people down there who are taking this effort very seriously and doing a lot of great work in this space. So um, from an MLB perspective, uh, I can say that our initiatives have grown each and every year, and it's something uh, that we anticipate will continue to grow. Um, I don't know what those opportunities will translate to, but I know that it's uh, definitely a burgeoning field in this industry. All right, Jason, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, and thanks to everyone out there watching. Stay tuned for more from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown SES. Thank you.